what's good it's Razy here and I'm gonna bring you guys a tutorial it's a tutorial on how to download Extelia MS version 1.49 which is the latest version this is a very fun um, MIPS or private server you know private servers have died out you know they used to be very popular back then but now it's just I don't know what happened to the man but anyways this game is pretty fun I decided to play it cuz you know I was recently playing Mipster and all my friends moved on to this so yeah I just went on with them it's pretty fun it's not like global MIPS where you have to pay to win it's just farm to win so anyone can be good at it so as you can see here I have a folder called Stally files with all the files here I suggest you just make a 5 o'clock style files before you start this so just go uh, go ahead and do that before you download all the files so these are the files you're gonna have to download just don't mind this one file here ngm.log it's just a temporary file for now it doesn't matter so all these files above it are the ones that matter so I'll teach you how to download them just go on google and type in extalia ms click on the first link and it'll be on the home page of the website watch the trailer if you want up here you see downloads click on downloads and you'll have to download these five files that I've highlighted it doesn't matter what order you download them in just make sure you save them in the Extalia files folder so yeah they're a gig each uh, and uh, it shouldn't take too long to download to be honest so once you're done downloading all these five files download the game client here just press download and it'll start downloading the only thing is it'll be in like a 7-zip file so you'll need WinRAR or uh, WinZip to unzip it. I suggest WinRAR is just better. I'll provide a link for you guys on how to download WinRAR. And then uh, yeah, so once you download all the files and they're done, make sure you click on MS Setup v149.exe. That's the main file where you uh, start the installing process. Since my computer is really slow, I already opened up beforehand. So this will just come up, you know, I don't think anyone reads the terms of use. So just press agree and uh, yeah here's where you save the file. So if you guys are playing global map story still, make sure that you don't save this file where you're where you saved global map story. So save this is the this is the location where you have saved local map story. Just change this to desktop and you can just simply save it onto the desktop and just press install. So since I've already installed it, I can't grow like you guys all you have to do is wait and when you're done waiting the file will be popped up on where you saved it so when you say so if you see it on the desktop a file called maple story will pop up here and the uh, maple story shortcut just delete the maple story shortcut put it in the recycling bin and make sure you have the file called maple story since my file was saved in the local my hard drive C I'll show you guys what to do so this file would be named maple story I just renamed it to the like Stally MS and you'll have all these files you'll have game launcher Mipstory.exe. Make sure you delete this file. And you see, I have Extalimms.exe here. So to get that file, you unzip the file where the client was, and you'll get these two folders. Just copy and paste them and put them in the version 1.49 you just installed. So, come on! Wow, my computer froze. All right, but you get the point. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, so you just copy and paste them in the file that they are located not where they, where they should be located so yeah you save them in the version 1.49 folder I've already done that so it won't allow me to do so and once you've done that just double click on XTLMS or run by his administrator and you'll see like a Kaiser pop up and it'll say 8 times experience and all that stuff the first time if this is your first time downloading it you'll have to download a patch just make sure just let the patch download and stuff and when it says when the patch is done downloading press play and then just reopen the folder so go back to the XTLMS and just double click it again and you'll be able to play if you guys yeah so that's pretty much it for the tutorial uh, it's pretty easy on how to, uh, it's really easy to download this game it doesn't really take much <laughs> so yeah I'll just show you guys a few tips on uh, what you should do when you start playing if you click here on the form there's a lot of things there's like announcements support guides and stuff so this will really help you out if you're new to this game you know for making money and stuff uh other things you can do uh, oh i really recommend you do this as you can see this ribbon is here press vote for an x just put your account name in here and every six hours you're gonna vote for an x and get six thousand nx every six hours so i re really recommend you do this and to sign up is just on the front page here it says sign up here then you just click on this blue link 
and you just sign a ball here. You can uh, another tip is that you can open Excalibur more than one time, so you can have like an HS meal and stuff, and it's totally like. You won't get banned or anything for it, so yeah. So that's a really good uh, part of this game. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It is really easy. If there's any other tutorials you guys want, uh, please tell me. Um, all my in-game name and stuff will be in the description. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.